Hey, what's up guys? Um, so this is a hopefully a super quick video. So you're probably wondering why is there an Apple Watch sitting next to two rotary encoders? Well, the point of this video was essentially for me to, <laughs> I don't know if we'll call this a rant. I don't really like the word rant, but this is kind of what it is. Um, I saw a lot of people complaining that <laughs> Apple calls this a digital crown. So, you know, my question to people who say that, um, were you really wanting them to call it an optical quadrature rotary encoder? Because that's a little bit silly. You know, you got to be able to market products. I mean, I mean, just picture everyday products with their actual name, not marketing name, but their real name. It would be absurd. It's, it's harder to say. It's easier just to pick a name like that. For example, when Apple switched to high DPI displays, they use the term retina, retina display. And I hated it at first, and I know all the Android people hate it because and it, you know, you'll see a lot of uh, mobile tech journalists don't even use the term retina when they're talking about non-Apple products. And it pisses people off. And I, that I understand. If you, you know, it's, a, it's a brand thing. You like a certain brand, but the other brand has a better marketing term and, and everybody gets stuck on it. You, know, you see, you, you go to somewhere that accepts NFC payment and they're like, oh yeah, we take Apple Pay. Well, yeah, that also means you know it takes Samsung Pay, Android Pay, Google Wallet, whatever, whichever form of payment you want. But everyone uses Apple Pay because that's the marketing term that's been you know slammed into your brain. So I think it's okay to come up with a name like that. So first off, watches have always had dials on them, mechanical watches, and you know what they're called? Crowns. <laughs> it's a crown. That's what they've always been called. And in this case, it's a crown that's digital because it's, I mean, that's exactly, I mean, it's literally exactly what it is. So calling it a digital crown is not actually silly. It's calling it exactly what it is. I mean, technically speaking, it's an optical quadrature rotary encoder like these guys right here. Well, actually, I don't think either of these are optical, but they're, um, they're rotary encoders. And this is a bigger one. Um, but still, that doesn't make this silly I mean what what else do you want them to call it you know they're literally calling it what they're called on watches which is a crown and in this case it's not a mechanical crown it's a digital one so this is to me the best name they could possibly come up with I mean if you have ideas for a better name for it put it down in the comments I'm really curious but if you think about it I think about what they're called on a mechanical watch and, and, and think of it in this context, it's really a good name, so you really can't complain about it. So I think it's a little bit silly. Uh, now one thing you can complain about, which is a marketing term that pisses me off, is Dyson's, uh, Dave Jones did a video on this too, I, I just popped into my head. Uh, you know, they use brushless DC motors, which are powerful, way, way better than the brushed ones for those applications. Um, well, they're longer lasting, I guess, because you don't have um, brushes to wear out. But um, a whole different topic. But they call it a digital motor. <laughs> and that just, ah, uh, I hate that. But in that, in that case, brushless is just as easy to say as digital. I know digital people, I, it's probably a fancier sounding term to them than calling it a brushless motor. But... Brush, brushless motor is exactly what it's called. It's only one word. It's not like you're adding a bunch of extra syllables and stuff. It's easy to say. So in that case, I think it's stupid that Dyson calls it a digital motor. But in other cases, I really do think that sometimes you need a good marketing term for the average layman to use. And so you're not going to hear people say optical quadrature rotary, rotary encoder on um, you know an Apple commercial. That would just be ridiculous. Maybe to, to some of us techies, it would be a little entertaining, but... You know, most people would just wonder why they didn't come up with a better name for it. So instead of saying high density, high DPI display, it's easier just to say a retina display. So I don't blame them and you can't blame them. It's marketing. They need to market a product. And it's just, it's business. So, so uh, that being said, um, I just wanted to rant about that because, yeah. So if, if you have a better suggestion for what Apple could have called this little guy, let me know. But, I mean, they really call it what it is, other than, you know, an actual rotary encoder. But 
it's a crown for a watch in this case it's digital so anyway i'm really curious to hear what people are going to say anytime i put up a video related to any apple product I look at the little graph on analytics and I always lose subscribers, but I don't give a shit. If people are really that retardedly butthurt about, you know, brand loyalty and being a fanboy of anything that's not Apple or you're just being anti Apple, I don't want I don't want those people as subscribers anyway, so it'll be really funny and hilarious to me to see my subscribers drop off after uploading this because there's an Apple product in it. It, it happens every time and it's, it's silly, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next video.